Welcome back. In this video, we will review the full anatomy of the gradient CCV. We will start by going over the left panel and right panel, where the connections for the gas sources, power cables, and patient breathing circuits are located. The left panel is where you will find all the connection inlets for gas and power sources. Let's begin by looking at the left panel starting from the top and working our way to the bottom. The first inlet on the top is where you will connect your oxygen source. This inlet has a DISS connection port which accepts oxygen sources delivered with a pressure up to 87 psi or 6 bar. This is where you will connect your oxygen cylinder using the provided DISS holes, piped oxygen using the provided BS or AFNOR adapter or the oxygen reservoir on the workstation if you're using a concentrator. Later, we will go into more details on how you can connect an oxygen concentrator to the CCV using the oxygen reservoir on the CCV workstation. Just below the oxygen source inlet is the DISS air source inlet where you can connect a compressed medical air source. Below the air source inlet and to the left, there's a small silver bulb. This bulb is intended for low flow oxygen sources with outlet pressures up to 10 psi or 0.7 bar. This is to be used during transport or when a DISS connection is not available. Just to the right of the low flow oxygen bulb is where you'll connect the external battery when running the CCV on external battery power. When switching over to the external battery, simply remove the cover and insert the external battery cable into the port. Please note that the battery is keyed, so make sure to align the arrows before insertion. When fully inserted, the connector will lock to disconnect the external battery, first turn the locking ring to release the connector. When using mains power, be sure the external battery is not connected to the CCV. When the external battery is connected, the CCV will draw power from the external source first. The CCV has an inbuilt compressor for medical air. This is the large circular metal port with a black plastic cover which holds a sponge particle filter. This air intake port is where the CCV will draw in room air to mix with oxygen depending on the set percent O2. Just below the air intake port and off to the left, you will find the casing pressure release valve. The CCV contains an internal pressure relief valve which will open to protect the patient if the AOA pressure exceeds 85 centimeters of water. The last connection point on the left panel is the AC power inlet. This is where the mains power cable connects to the CCV. Now, let's turn our attention to the right panel. The right panel is where you'll connect the lines and tubing that make up the patient breathing circuit. Starting at the top, we find a small silver bulb, which is the exhalation valve control line port. This line is used to control when the patient is allowed to exhale. It is important to make sure that this line, which is clear on the patient breathing circuit, is connected to the silver bulb. Below the silver bulb, there's a slightly larger blue bulb. This is used to connect to the patient airway pressure line which measures the patient's airway pressure. To the right of the exhalation valve control bulb and the patient airway pressure bulb is the patient breathing circuit connection port. Here, you'll attach the main line of the breathing circuit leading to the patient's airway. For the safety of the patient, it is important that you always confirm that these lines have been connected to the correct ports on the CCV before connecting the patient airway circuit to the patient. The last port on the right panel is the remote alarm connection. This is a standard quarter-inch phone jack 
allowing users to connect the CCV to a NAS call system or a central alarm system. Take extra care to ensure the lines and circuits connecting to the right panel are fully secured to the CCV. Once in place, gently pull on the lines to confirm they have been connected securely. To prevent damage, when removing the patient breathing circuit, use a firm back and forth twisting motion. Do not pull the line straight out of the machine. Excessive force may cause the tubing to tear. In the next video, we will focus on the CCV's front panel and learn how to set and change ventilation parameters.